guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 29 and 30 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 29 and 3, 2, 1, go. I gotta pay attention to time because I gotta wake her up soon. Oh my god, I hate having long nails. Even though they're not long, they're short. Mama? No, Yena. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's ev it happens to everyone. You're good, babe. So, really, Hina, how's the bullying going at school? Is it getting worse? No. Yeah, is it more bullying? You want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, that's normal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, for me, um, the last nosebleed I kind of got... Honestly, really, kind of was a couple of weeks ago. No, and it wasn't that long. It was just like two, three minutes. And that was only because it was like really, really hot in my room. so cute. I can't. My heart. Uh. Okay. What does she say? Yeah, but you see, you're not, like, we the room! <sighs> okay. 
because you're angry. It's just getting worse for her. The one time from last week when I honestly thought it was going to get better for her, it still gets worse for her. Hmm. Probably not. If Grandpa Zilla comes, I would love to see that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the things you could do. Exactly. We both know that Hina did nothing wrong. She was doing what she thought was right. You would think the teacher would put her, uh, like, pull her stick out of her ass and finally be like, no, like, oh, I now finally see, or you need to give me more information on it so that she could do something to stop it. But no, most teachers are like that. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Look how pretty that dog is. That dog is freaking Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Like, oh, except, you know, its ears needs to be more like um a darker brown and such. Oh, so pretty. I can't wait him sometimes. Oh my god.
No pressure. No. You bought me like you did it on my guy! Mm -hmm. We don't need you to get sick. Which I still haven't talked about why the fuck he's gotten sick the last time, but no, no, when you gonna show it? We almost on episode 30! We almost done with this show! Exactly, because we've all been like that sometimes. But sometimes the best thing is to be there for them and to give them words of wisdom at that time and to listen to them when they need someone to talk to and to listen to them. wanted her to just be happy. Shut up, I'm coming. Let me finish this episode. Like, you know what? Let me ask this to y'all. What would you do if you were in Ray's shoes? Or, heck, even he in his shoes? Or any one of these characters' shoes? I mean, as I said, sometimes the best thing is to listen to her. And he truly wants to do something. But sometimes you don't know what you can do for that person. Heck, you know Momo was just like probably devastated seeing Hina cry. Hmm? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, he went right in, didn't hesitate or anything.
That puts me a little on ease. That too? I don't like that. <laughs> it's like he's somewhat doing it on purpose to make Ren lose his focus. <laughs> but I get it. Everybody has their little thing that they need to do. My mom likes to like shake her leg and I hate that. I'm like, ah, stop, please. <laughs> So, Excuse me. Can tell he's getting really frustrated. I mean, he was frustrated in the beginning, but he is like hella frustrated now. Everybody plays in different ways. Excuse me. I mean, well, okay, let me say this. Like, sometimes it is better to either go fast or slow. But, I mean, I get the fact is, yes, Ray going slow is irritating the shit out of him. And it's the same thing with me. Him going too fast is irritating the hell out of me. <laughs> but everybody has their own pains. So that had to put you off of your game. Heck, you could have made the mistake in the beginning. think there's really anything else he can do. Mm -hmm. It's just when you know that someone is like one step ahead of you and any other solution that you're currently planning in your brain, you can't get it. That's it. It's over. Game over. I lost. Like, <laughs> be, be fair and square. Don't be an ass. <laughs> Do 
I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, but in a way they are. I just, oh, this, I, honestly, he just reminds me of what I hate when people do, like, the little touches. Like I said, my mom and her, like, bouncing her leg, you know, I think some people, because I have my lawn nails or, or acrylic nails, there are probably going to be some people who are going to be hella tired of hearing, doing, do, like, tapping my nails against my desk or me, someone does something. We all do something that irritates the crap out of someone, like, it's so annoying and, the, like, you're like, oh my god, I can't, like, that's so annoying. <laughs> or like oh my god I'm trying to think of another one someone clicking a pin do I have a regular pin in here um yeah I do just clicking like a regular old ballpoint pin and doing it like over and 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 over again oh my god like just doing that oh well this is the not, not the type of pin but going like that all the time that can be like at first it's all nice and satisfying and ish but eventually it gets so irritating <laughs> but I do hope and pray that my baby <sighs> Hannah my poor baby I, I need her to be okay I hate the fact that you know it's getting worse for her. Come on, man. Like, I, I can't. I, I really... Oh, God. If it was me. Oh. If it was me. It was also weird not to have Molo in this episode as well. But... Let me just say this. Me as if I was a parent or me in the ish of the situations when I was a kid and um because I can't um god because maybe this has happened to all of us I don't know if this has or if it specifically happened to you but this shit happened to me when I was in third grade I got bullied by my teacher and it was so bad that um we had we had to learn our multiplication facts like by the time when I moved to Nebraska um, I had to learn my multiplication and my cursive. We were just, like, by the time I left Florida, um, we were just about to start. So when we got to Nebraska, I think maybe, like, at least two, a week or two after my birthday, um, I had to learn everything quick, fast, in a hurry and such. And with me and my disability, sometimes I, it takes me, like, 
a couple of times to learn over it and everything because I can it like if you teach me one time I can get it and stuff um but at the time like I was so slow and everything and it's like that and so there was a point where my my third grade teacher was like you need to know your, uh, your multiplication is like this this that and the third yada 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 and I knew them and we were doing I think our three tables and so I I hesitated because I was nervous like you know that happens to everyone we're all nervous on some something someone makes you nervous and my teacher she made me nervous she got hella angry I, I don't know for some weird reason she could have had problems at home I don't really know hell even at the age I am right now I don't really fucking care I don't really give two shits about that old teacher and stuff because I mean, one day she actually messaged me out of the blue and I really wanted to do this but I was like no I'm above you let me do this so this woman had the audacity during lunch to call up my mom and tell my mom that my mother didn't do anything for my multiplications for me. So, my mom, <laughs> being the woman that she is, got up from um, whatever she was doing, came to the school, walked to the school, because the school is like a three to five minute walk from where we lived in military housing, and asked, she at first she was going to ask to speak to my teacher, but no, it was busy, so then they asked if I could come down. Me, I'm coming down crying, like, oh my god, I'm going to get in trouble over something so belittling and everything. But, um, my mom basically said, no, it's okay, you calm down. So, if any of you have ever heard of Schoolhouse Rock, um, and stuff, and I had watched that so many times as a kid, and heck, I, sometimes, like, if I'm on YouTube or whatever, I'll, like, listen to a song and it's like that. Um, and there is a song called Three is a Magic Number, and it's one of my personal favorite, like, songs besides, um, the figure eight song. It's my second favorite, but we were in the bathroom. <laughs> Imagine three, third grade year old, third grade teacher crying her butt off in the bathroom and just singing Three is a Magic Number with her mom and getting, you know, tears all wiped up and so I after that I felt so confident after talking to my mom and my mom saying that I can do it just don't be afraid and stuff so we tried it again <laughs> and let me tell you like ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, I impressed that <laughs> that teacher that b word of a teacher and so I, I think we went out for recess or something else and um so she called up my mom again and she was like, I don't know what you did with, you know, Khadija, Queen Deja, and it's like that. And, but she improved, and my mom was like, don't ever, like, do this, that, and the third. My, my third day, my third grade teacher did, like, the weirdest things to us in, um, elementary school. Like, I don't know if this has also happened to you. Um, there was a time where me and maybe, I think it was five or ten of us, she made us stay after school not letting us call our moms or dads and saying that hey we had to stay after school for like almost an hour later and my mom freaked the fuck out like if you you want to talk about a mom anyone's mom freaking out but oh my mom oh <laughs> the things that my mom my mom was heated with this teacher and stuff like that so the funny thing was after I um moved on from her and went from like fourth to fifth to sixth grade before I eventually went to middle school I never saw this teacher again any time when me and her would see each other in the hallway um as much <laughs> Even now, if I, if I ever went back to Nebraska and I just saw her and she saw me and she maybe wanted to say hi to me, I would be cordial as hell. I, I'm, I'm a professional at the end of the day. As much as I want to act my color and go off on you, as I've said multiple times before in these last few episodes, what is that going to do for me? Nothing. It's not really. Even though, like, I can't still, even at the age that I am, I can't stand her as a teacher and how she did not only me, but several other students in the wrong. And nobody in the school system did anything for it. You know, that's okay. Do whatever you do. I don't even know if she still works as a teacher anymore. Who the fuck cares? But 
she reminds me so much of Hina's teacher how the fact is her teacher isn't reading the room. She's not like, oh, okay, well, now I kind of want to be involved in this and that. Let's figure out this problem. No, you're still looking out on the sidelines and you don't give a shit about her or any of your fucking students. If you really, truly cared about your students and if there's a problem and especially if someone's being a bully, you would address that and nip it in the butt right there you wouldn't wait until like the the freaking first kid freaking sakura gets bullied and you wait until she leaves and someone writes something about Hina on the board and asking straight up Hina what the fuck the problem is right then and there when someone is immediately getting bullied and if so, if the child who is getting bullied comes up to you and says hey mr or mrs such and such i'm getting bullied Nip it right then and there. You need to get not only deserve a punishment for the people who are bullying her, him or her, not for the kid who is getting bullied because the kid who is getting bullied is doing nothing wrong. But if it gets worse, then yes, that's when you need to put in the freaking parents and you need to tell the parents, this is what's going on between your child and this child's here. We need to do something to nip this in the butt. If it gets worse to the point where something might happen to this child, let's think about, you know, especially if a kid gets bullied in middle school or damn well, no, high school and the situations of what happens. And then next thing you know, someone gets decides to commit suicide and it's like that. Not saying that you should do that. That's the one thing that you should never do. But still, you need to talk to someone if that happens. And the next thing you know, the person who... <laughs> tells the person, yeah, you should commit suicide because no one really cares about you and everything. That's on your hands. That's your fault for doing that ish. And never do that. That's th th some of the cases that I have seen um, on news for bullying is just so messed up. And I, I wish as like, not only as a freaking society, country, as a world, because this happens everywhere in every school, middle school high school I, I can't really say about college but it still happens every single day possibly even in the workplace it happens and it feels like no one does something to get it done they like throw it under the bus or under the rug and like oh no 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 it's never gonna come up again but you never know when the fuck it's gonna come up like honestly so be smart read the mother effing room and literally be like okay let me you know be a better person be above this and try to make this situation better I don't know I, d I needed to get that out oh god because I feel so bad for her and I want her praying to God that he, you know, by the end of this series is able to smile again. I hate seeing her cry and being depressed and upset and her getting, you know, bullied over stupid little things. Like, to me, it's stupid, but I, I mean, she shouldn't be getting bullied over this. She's a precious baby girl that needs to be protected, but to the assholes, fuck you like seriously like oh my god i just i can't i can't we got one more episode but yeah let me go do this one little thing that i need to go do and when i get back i will go ahead and watch episode 30 i will see you guys in one second okay episode 30 in three two one go <sighs> okay Don't make me angry again, please. Like, oh, God. Because that shit, oh, that, that pissed me off. Like, whoo. Like, I've no, oh God, I've never wanted to punch a teacher, you know, but the character, the teacher of this series, like, seriously, she need, mm, she needs to be told off. I'm sorry. Like, but then at the same time, something tells me it's like, she kind of thinks, well, I'm a teacher. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to do everything. You have to be there as a teacher for these students. These are your students, right? They're 
technically like your mm, god how long have you probably been teaching her this is like whatever generation of your family you know mm. Exactly. Like, if she's like that as a homeroom teacher, I would hate to see how she's like with her other students. I mean, oh, God. Because what else could you do? baby exactly Or a counselor. Yeah, because her homeroom teacher ain't shit to me. I'm sorry. Because if her homeroom teacher ain't going to do jack shit, which she honestly isn't doing anything, she needs to go to someone else. At least one of her teachers, a counselor. Um, hell, the principal maybe? I mean... Basically, yeah, <clears throat> he left you. <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference?
Excuse me. I know it was supposed to be you two in the final together. Did he get sick? Oh. They're not going to leave it like that, are you? I swear to God. But wait, at least explain it some more. Don't just, like, say something and then walk away. That's so messed up. He has a right to know. it is. Okay. 
mean, he's always been like that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. No kid who is sick wants to talk about it with someone. It's too much for them. Contest clues, something. No, oh, what the hell? What's one more to her? Oh my god! You want to eat He's cute. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I just want to punch those teeth. Really? Ah! Kids are so adorable. Of course, no matter what, he stood out. Oh, that looks so good. That's the yakisoba pan, right? But uh. Poor baby.
people better. him damn it <laughs> no. oh I'm already crying of oh, Jesus Christ Deja Exactly. Mm -hmm. My thing is like what what medical term is his condition though? I mean Yes, he's on a strict diet. Because first I was thinking it was like high blood pressure, almost diabetes-esque. But it doesn't seem like that. Definitely going to have to look that up in a couple of minutes. You wouldn't be able to forgive him. Baby. Oh. 
gonna be okay, right? I mean, oh my god. Oh, don't let me think it. Don't let me think it. Don't let me think it. No, oh, no. But he's gonna be okay, right? I mean, it, it's just Nikaido, and I like him. He's like my second favorite character of this show. He, even though he is sick. He lives his life to the fullest, and you love that about him. He's so fucking sweet. Oh my god! But seriously, I, I want to look up a little bit more about his illness and to see a little more because I have a lot of like questions about it. So I think after I'm done and while this is editing, um, and while I watch that live stream that I'm watching that I want to watch, it's like 17 minutes ahead. Um, Hopefully I can get some answer on it. But just like hearing hearing a little bit of his story. That hurt. I'm oh, thinking I feel bad for him. How I felt bad for him the first half I watched of this show and wondering what the freak was going on. Everybody was like, No, no, no. It's coming and I wish we got that like right then and there. But I get the fact is I understand we had to wait for it, but like your girl wanted to know like Right then and there, not so many episodes later, but like, I just need him to be okay. I need him to just, you know. If freaking Ray, if he wins this, I need Nikaido to just come to him and hug him and be like, I'm so proud of you. No, Hina. That doesn't really give me anything. I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen next. I'm scared. I am scared. I am scared. Oh my god, I am scared. Anything could happen next week with 31 and 32, but Jesus Christ. Like, oh. I just, I need the Kaido to be okay. I, I just, I need it. I want it. I, we deserve it, Christ. <laughs> like, oh my god, please. Let him see Ray and let Ray be like, yeah, Nick, I do I want? And then them embrace and cry like your bromance and everything because I love their bromance. Like at first, you know, Ray didn't really want anything to do with him. And I'm like, who the heck is this kid coming up to him? Like, yeah, we're frenemies. You know, we friends, we rivals. And Ray's like, I don't want Jack. It's to do with you. Like, leave me alone. Read the room. Oh, my God. But now, like, they, they're they such good friends, and he cares. But the one thing, like, he couldn't tell him the one thing that was going on with him. Of course, yes, Ray had to find out on his own terms. And I should get it, because sometimes, you know, as I said, sick kids don't want to talk about them feeling sick. It's, like, one of my fa uh, one of my personal favorite shows, especially because um, there was just one episode where um, one of the four main leads, uh, her character got cancer. And she was so afraid to tell her friends about it that um, one, of, <laughs> one of the parents in this group that she was in, you know, she had enough of hearing this lady's BS and everything and she took off her wig. And she's like, you know what? I have cancer. Like, da -da 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 -da. I've been doing this, this, that, and the third, even with my chemotherapy and everything. And she went ballistic. And her friends finally saw, you know, the fact that she didn't have hair and that she had to wear a wig. And so um, her friends had asked her, why didn't you say anything towards us? And she, she said it in the most, like, honest to God words, because, of course, this is what possibly every sick kid um, wants to really, truly tell someone. I don't want you to feel pity for me. I don't want to be pitied and stuff like that. I don't want you to feel sorry for me, even though, yes, what else, what else are we supposed to do but feel sorry for someone and hope and pray that they get through this and that they are able to, you know, go outside and see the sun again, to be around their friends and families and it's like that. And, you know, eventually later on in the in that season, I think, he, yeah, yeah, later on in that season, eventually, yes, she was able to beat the cancer, thank God. But then there was a point in time when she thought it was coming back, but in the end, no, she was pregnant. Um, but yeah, I just, I I have high hopes for Nikaido. I love him so much. Like, I, I if he's not in this show, it, it would just feel weird. I think if anything happened to any one of these characters in this show, the balance 
would be off and honestly I don't really want that but whoa both of these episodes were hella emotional for what they were I mean oh my god like seriously I to make a 30 something minute video on episode 29 and to, you know go into this one being so little emotional about 29 and being hella emotional about what the heck just happened in this episode I mean Jesus like Oh, I, I can't, but other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episodes 29 and 30 of March comes in like a lion. My freaking mouse does not want to work. There we go. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 31 and 32. Bye, guys.